You go from New York, I'm assuming um, urban inner city, to rural North Carolina. What goes through a 10-year-old's head when you see like black people on tractors now and farmers? It's so crazy you say that because the, the house that we, we ended up moving to in North Carolina was literally next to a cotton field. Like there's literally cotton right there. And so the, the transition between, you know, being around skyscrapers to, to being in the, in the middle of nowhere, it was definitely tough as a, as a kid, but I was always a, an introvert growing up. And I, I, I was an only child. I didn't have any brothers or sisters. So I kind of just was always an imaginative person and just uh, stuck to myself early on. It didn't weigh on me as much as I look back and I'm like, oh, that was a really crazy jump. Um, I just kind of always made do with whatever I had. So I, I, I tried to find ways to figure it out. And I look back at it, it was, it was a blessing. I don't think I would have been able to start my career in radio and in TV as young if I was still in the city, just because there's so much competition and so, so many things going on. I think being where I was gave me a real opportunity to focus on the things that I wanted to do. So I, I really value my time in North Carolina. It, it was amazing. You started like getting on the radio in high school, correct? Yeah, I, so I, at age 14 or 15, I was working at, at a farm. My mom uh, met somebody that, at a grocery store that worked at a farm. So I started working at a farm. I was like painting the, the barns and like getting cobwebs. Out of, yeah, true story. The local Foot Locker had like their company retreat at that farm. Um, and so I met the people that worked at Foot Locker and then ended up getting a job at Foot Locker. And then when I worked at Foot Locker at about 16 years old, the local radio station did a remote at Foot Locker, like a live broadcast from Foot Locker. And when I met the people from the radio station, I asked for an internship and that's how I started. So I was on the radio with my own radio show when I was about 16 years old, 17 years old. Dude, I could completely see you in high school hustling people at Foot Locker. Yeah, One. those look good, man. No, that's the hot shit right there. Yeah. <laughs> all day, could, all day. Was you, was you the Foot Locker worker that, that hemmed you up as soon as you walked through the door in the mall, or did you let people browse a little bit? You know, they had me in the back. I was a scraggly kid. I used to be the, like the stockroom guy. So I never, I never been behind the register, and I was like the the runner, you know. And then eventually, I think by the time I moved up to being a salesperson, um, I was like on the radio at the same time. So, you, you, radio is a very introverted career. Like, so people think I have a big personality, but I actually have like a really like smaller personality. It's it's weird. Mm -hmm. But no, I, I wasn't the guy hemming you up in the front. I was I was I was more shy back then. I was gonna say, I could, I could completely see somebody going in, buying a pair of tennis shoes, and you going, you need these insoles too. You want the spray? The spray will keep the them clean, baby. No, I want some fucking shoes. <laughs> I didn't I come was in for shoe spray. To, to sell something, 100%, 100%. <laughs>